courage is not the absence of, of fear, it's pressing forward in the face of fear. So we need to learn how to, if I'm going to do something, and this fearful thought comes, I need to think about what I'm thinking about and realize that that's the devil probably just trying to keep me from something that God wants me to do, and I, and I can address it right then and say, I'm not going to live in fear. I will not live in fear. That's a talk out loud time. I will not live in fear because God is with me and just keep right on going. Just keep right on going. I tell you what, I am mad at the devil because he is stealing people's destinies through fear. And I don't want you to let the devil steal your destiny. I want you to possess the promised land, not just go to church and hear about it and talk about it all your life and pray about it, but never really live in the promises of God. I want you to enjoy God and enjoy yourself and enjoy the people around you and do all that you can possibly do with your life for the glory of God. But fear will hinder every bit of that. It's probably pitiful. If we would know, if we could pile it all up in a pile, everything that the devil has stolen from everybody in this room corporately through fear, we would be absolutely so aggravated at ourselves <laughs> for letting the enemy do that. Yes, I said letting the enemy do that. There's only one attitude that a Christian can have toward fear that is acceptable to God, and it is very simply this, I will not fear. I will not fear. Now, once again, that doesn't mean you won't feel fear. If you don't understand the difference in what I'm talking about, the next time you feel fear, you're going to think, well, it didn't work for me. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm going to really take a step of faith here and say something. I don't even know that I think you can pray fear away. You know what I think happens when you pray? I think that you should pray that God will give you courage to confront fear when it comes your way. You know why? Because Satan is always going to try to keep us from going forward. Always. What did the Apostle Paul say in 1 Corinthians 16, 9? A wide door of opportunity has opened unto me, and with it many adversaries. New level, new devil. That's just the way it works. <laughs>